number 20. Now, I never even knew there were 20 takeaways. This is going to be quite odd, I think. I don't know why. You might be onto something, Flavia, and you'd all better buckle up. Because never mind a twist in the tail, we're starting with a curveball. What do you think it's going to be, Hacker? Feels pretty warm. Let's find out what number 20 is. <laughs> And you weren't wrong there, babe. What is that? Britain, what have you done? What's that? What on earth is that? I don't know, Kathleen. It looks like some sort of occurrence. It looks like something, actually, that, you know, you find on the street outside the pub. Is it a cheese omelette? Cheese omelette takeaway? Is that a pizza? I think that might be a croque monsieur. Monsieur? Croque monsieur? That looks like a fish, a bit of fish with. Is that it? I think that looks like, like a cheese. schnitzel. Who eats this? Britain's 20th favourite takeaway is in fact a delicacy much loved in Teesside, known as the Parmo. So if there's one man who can enlighten us, it's a magician from Middlesbrough. Oh, the Parmo! From the land of my fathers. The hallowed meal. Food of the gods. So, to the uneducated, what you are dealing with here is a chicken scallop that has been breadcrumbed and deep fried and then laden with bechamel cheese. And then sprinkled on top of that is a sort of industrial strength, orange cheddar, that then it all goes under the grill and it sort of melts on the top and you end up with this sort of carpet of beauty. The pride of Pete's people is around 60 years old. Italian-American Nikos Harris, who as a chef in the US Army, was wounded in France and taken to a British hospital, opened an American grill in Middlesbrough, where he created the Teesside Parmesan. What oh, Parmo? This is magnificent. The chicken Parmo. Everyone knows what a Parmo is, right? Uh, wrong. A Parmo? A part of pardon? A what? A part, how do you spell it? It's a chicken what? P-A-R-M-O. Yes, you can forget your D-I-S-C-O. This is the tune they dance to on Teesside. Boom. I'm surprised that the hipsters haven't cottoned onto the Parmo. I can see, you know, down in Shoreditch, a little Parmo shop out the back of a sort of a Citroen, old French Citroen van, a couple of Teesiders swearing. Some but while Pete's positive that Parmo can spread its wings, how well does it travel? Do you like a, a uh, little serving, my darling? Yes, I would. Oh, my goodness, me. I'm not really. That's an abomination in cardboard. Get rid of it, please, Mark. If you've been to Middlesbrough, you know that they shouldn't be allowed to make food and distribute it around this country. It's, it's, a, it's a nightmare. People from the borough can send their complaints directly to Hal Crutterden, 1 Caviar Road, Snobsville. They can't get enough of these on Teesside. There's even a social media group of dedicated critics searching for the perfect Parmo. You can even get fancy Parmos with pepperoni on top. Let's get the name right. It's not a fancy parmo with pepperoni on top. It's called a hot shot parmo. It's got a name. You can get a mushroom parmo. You can get, um, well, I mean, that's it. Mushroom parmo and a hot shot parmo. But, you know, we're diversifying. And it's just possible that some teasiders have been spreading the word. I've had it. You know where I've had it? Benidorm. Because it turns out you don't have to be from the northeast to be partial to a parmo. Understand why it's a big hit in Middlesbrough. Mm, lovely. You know what? High five with a Parmo. It's absolutely delicious. Mm, it's fantastic. I don't think they know about this downside. Then we may have to relocate down the north to make sure we can have plenty of these. If you didn't choke on your chapati at Vanessa Feltz claiming she wants to move up north, there's plenty more to come in this banquet.